Hey, my chipping off family. What's up? It's Mikey V back for week three of our three part iconic move series. Uh, this week we're going to be going over the God Sham God snatchback. Uh, there used to be a player named God Sham God. It's named after him. He created it. It was his signature move. Um, he was a New York City point guard. Went on to play Division One, and then never really made it in the NBA. But he has been an NBA skills development coach for the Mavericks for a long time now. Um, so this move is basically a two-part move. And it's really good to draw the defender in, to bait him in, and then change direction real quick. So I'm going to go over it, gain speed maybe three times, and then I'll come back and break it down. Alright, so as you can see, the first step is to kind of throw the ball out, and then the second step is going to be to reach across your body and snatch it back real quick. Alright, so that first one, you almost want to make it look like you're going to run that way, so the footwork is really important. Um, I would describe it kind of as like a hesitation gallop almost, so this is the footwork. So that little movement right there, like you're about to go that way and then you rip it back. So slowly, we're right here, we throw it out, bait them. As they reach for it, you cut back, quick cut. Um, again, a little bit faster. All right, so you really gotta sell them with your body, even when you're not touching the ball. So when the ball's out here, now you gotta get to work. You gotta get to work selling it with your body. So again, All right. All right. So with this move, there's kind of two ways you can, you know, throw the ball out. Um, the first way, or there's no particular order, but one way is to kind of do an underhand. So you kind of roll it out and then come get it back. So again, kind of roll it out. Uh, you just got to be careful with that one because if your hand is completely under the ball, it's a carry. So the other way is to have your hand on top of the ball and just throw it out. Alright, so that'll look like this. Just throw it out and then snatch it back. So you could either underhand it or overhand it. Here's the overhand. Alright, now just like with any move, I want you guys to practice on both sides. Obviously, you're going to be more comfortable doing it on one side than the other. For me, I'm more comfortable throwing it out with my left hand and snatching it back with my right. But it's good to practice both sides. So right now, I'm going to do a couple on each side. So a good uh, stationary drill, just to get you accustomed to this drill, to this movement, to this move, is just to kind of do it stationary, and that'll look like this. So you throw it out, bring it back. Throw it out, bring it back. Throw it out, bring it back. So once you get good at that, try to incorporate the footwork now. So. So practice that on both sides. Alright guys, so have fun with this move, be creative with it, try to mix it up. I like to do it off of in and out like this. Have fun with it, send your submissions in, I look forward to seeing you all.